Throughout Earth's five billion year history, countless species have risen and fallen. Yet amidst this vast timeline, evolution often surprises us. Through meticulous research and remarkable discoveries, scientists have found evidence suggesting some prehistoric animals may still be alive today. From the depths of the oceans to hidden forests, get ready to discover animals once thought extinct but still roaming our planet. The woolly mammoth, an enduring symbol of the Ice Age, was long believed to have disappeared between 4,000 and 10,000 years ago. Their existence was well documented through fossil records, with skeletal remains unearthed across the frozen tundras of Siberia, North America, and Europe. These fossils suggested the mammoths succumbed to a combination of climate change and human hunting at the end of the last ice age. However, recent discoveries and scientific advancements have sparked new discussions about the possible resurrection of these majestic creatures. In 2013, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery in Siberia. Well-preserved woolly mammoth remains complete with intact muscle tissue and liquid blood. This unprecedented find provided a unique opportunity to study the mammoth's DNA and physiology in detail, revealing their remarkable adaptations to cold environments. Woolly mammoths boasted long, shaggy hair, a thick layer of fat, and large, curved tusks, perfect for foraging through snow and ice. Adding to the intrigue, there have been reports of possible sightings. In 2012, locals in Siberia claimed to see a creature resembling a woolly mammoth. Although these sightings couldn't be confirmed due to safety concerns and the risk of scaring the creature away, the descriptions did not match any known elephant species. These mammoths had distinctive features easily distinguishable from modern elephants, such as a hump of fat behind their heads for energy storage during harsh winters, smaller ears to reduce heat loss, and teeth uniquely adapted for grinding tough, frozen vegetation. These anatomical traits are evident in numerous mummified specimens and fossils meticulously studied by paleontologists. While the woolly mammoth remains officially extinct, the prospect of seeing these magnificent creatures walk the earth again is thrilling. Scientists are exploring possibilities like cloning or creating hybrid elephants with mammoth traits. This exciting research brings us closer to potentially reviving an ancient giant and offers a fascinating glimpse into our planet's distant past. While the woolly mammoth remains officially extinct, the prospect of bringing woolly mammoths back to life is no longer confined to science fiction. Advances in genetic research have sparked serious discussions about cloning these ancient giants or creating hybrid elephants with mammoth traits. Scientists are exploring de-extinction technologies, which could bring us closer to potentially reviving an ancient giant and offer a fascinating glimpse into our planet's distant past. Coelacanth The coelacanth, once thought to have vanished with the dinosaurs, is a living relic that has stunned the world of marine biology. For decades, scientists believed this ancient fish, known from fossil records dating back 400 million years to the Devonian period, had perished some 66 million years ago. That all changed dramatically in 1938 off the coast of South Africa, when Marjorie Courtenay Latimer, a museum curator, made a historic discovery. Among a local fisherman's hall, she spotted an odd fish unlike any she'd seen before. This peculiar specimen was sent to ichthyologist J.L.B. Smith, who confirmed its identity. Aquilacanth, a species long presumed extinct. This was no ordinary fish. It bore lobed pectoral and pelvic fins, reminiscent of its ancient ancestors, offering profound insights into the evolution of vertebrates. Coelacanths are unmistakable with their fleshy, limb-like fins and distinctive three-lobed tail fin. They possess a rostral organ in their snouts for electroreception, aiding navigation in the ocean's depths where they dwell, typically at 150 to 700 meters below the surface. These creatures can reach up to 2 meters in length and weigh as much as 19 cores, boasting thick, cosmoid scales akin to those seen in fossils. 
Perhaps most astonishing is their hollow spine, a notochord that provides flexible support, a feature revealing their ancient lineage. It's this combination of primitive traits and deep sea habitat that allowed coelacanths to evade human detection for so long, making their discovery a true marvel of modern science. The Pygmy Tarsier. Imagine a tiny, mysterious creature thought to be extinct, suddenly appearing out of the misty forests of Indonesia in 2000. This was the Pygmy Tarsier, a primate with big, glowing eyes made for the dark and slender fingers perfect for gripping tree branches. Back in the early 1900s, scientists first learned about these creatures from a few collected specimens. But by the mid-1900s, they disappeared from sight. Many believed they couldn't survive habitat loss and other changes. Searchers led by Sharon Gursky doyan rediscovered them high up in Sulawesi's mountains. It was like finding a lost treasure. Scientists were eager to learn about these elusive creatures. How did they live? What did they eat in the dark? The pygmy tarsier turned out to be insect eaters, using their sharp senses to hunt at night. Their small size and shy habits made them tough to study, but researchers worked hard to understand how they fit into Indonesia's lush forests. Now, scientists and conservationists are working together to protect the pygmy tarsier's home. They know that saving their forests isn't just about one small primate. It's about saving a whole world of unique plants and animals. By keeping their homes safe from deforestation and other dangers, they hope these tiny survivors can thrive again. In the big story of protecting nature, the Pygmy Tarsier reminds us how resilient life can be. Its comeback shows that with care and effort, we can uncover and defend species we thought were lost forever. New Guinea Singing Dog, known for its unique vocalizations and melodic howls, is one of the most extraordinary discoveries in the history of zoology. For decades, scientists believed this unique canid had been extinct in the wild, known only through a few individuals in captivity and stories from the native highlanders of Papua New Guinea. This all changed in 2016, when a population was rediscovered, turning the scientific world on its head. The incredible discovery happened when a team of researchers from the University of Papua and the New Guinea Highland Wild Dog Foundation ventured into the remote highlands. They found a small group of wild dogs with striking similarities to the captive New Guinea singing dogs. Genetic testing confirmed that these were indeed the same species, a species long thought to be extinct in the wild. New Guinea singing dogs are easily recognizable due to their unique vocalizations, which resemble the melodic sounds of a song. These vocalizations, characterized by harmonic tones and a distinctive pitch, are unlike any other canid. This ability to sing is what earned them their name and sets them apart as a remarkable species in the animal kingdom. Physically, the New Guinea singing dog has a compact, agile body adapted to the rugged terrain of their highland habitat. They possess a double coat with a soft undercoat and a harsher outer coat, providing insulation against the cool highland temperatures. Their eyes are almond-shaped and often amber in color, giving them a keen, intelligent expression. One of the most fascinating aspects of the New Guinea singing dog is their ancient lineage. Genetic studies have shown that they share a common ancestor with the Australian dingo, and both are believed to have originated from ancient domestic dogs brought to the region by early human settlers. Their long isolation in the highlands of New Guinea has resulted in unique adaptations and behaviors that are not seen in other canids. Living at altitudes of 2,500 to 4,700 meters, the New Guinea singing dogs have evaded detection for so long due to their remote and inhospitable habitat. They are skilled climbers, able to navigate steep and rocky terrain with ease. This elusive nature, combined with their small population size, made them one of the world's most mysterious and enigmatic canids. Goblin Shark with its lineage tracing back over 125 million years, is a creature so elusive and bizarre that it seems like a figment of myth and legend. Often hailed as a living fossil, 
It stands as a true testament to the ancient history of our planet's oceans, lurking in the shadowy depths where few other creatures dare to venture. First described in 1898, following the capture of a specimen off the coast of Japan, the goblin shark immediately captivated scientists with its otherworldly appearance and mysterious nature. The goblin shark is distinguished by its elongated flat snout, which bristles with electroreceptors. These sensors are crucial for detecting the faint electrical signals emitted by prey in the inky darkness of its deep sea habitat. Measuring up to four meters in length, the goblin shark's soft, pinkish-gray skin and flabby body give it a ghostly visage. Yet its most extraordinary feature is its protrusible jaws, capable of extending forward like a catapult to snatch unsuspecting prey with lightning speed. Inhabiting depths from 100 to 1,200 meters, goblin sharks are denizens of the deep, found primarily along continental slopes, submarine canyons, and seamounts. These realms, far removed from human activity, have shielded them from frequent encounters, rendering them a rare sight. The goblin shark's diet includes a variety of deep-sea creatures such as fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans. Utilizing its sensitive snout and unique jaw mechanics, it is an adept ambush predator lying in wait to ensnare its prey. Despite its fearsome appearance, the goblin shark poses no threat to humans due to its remote habitat, minimizing interactions with our species. Each rare encounter, however, offers valuable insights into the adaptability and evolution of deep-sea fauna. As a living relic from the Cretaceous period, the goblin shark provides scientists with a window into ancient marine ecosystems, challenging our understanding of life beneath the waves. Cuban Selenodon, characterized by its needle-like teeth, venomous saliva, and nocturnal lifestyle, presents a biological puzzle blending ancient and modern traits. Thought extinct, the Cuban Selenodon startled scientists with its reappearance in 2003, sparking renewed research and urgent conservation efforts. This elusive mammal plays a crucial role in its ecosystem, feeding on insects, small vertebrates, and fruits while navigating a complex web of predator-prey relationships. Its venomous bite, delivered through grooves in its lower incisors, aids in hunting and self-defense against larger predators, showcasing adaptations honed over millions of years of evolution. While the Solenodon's venom is potent enough to immobilize prey, it poses no significant danger to humans. Interactions between humans and solenodons are rare and typically occur during scientific research or conservation efforts. Fernandina, Giant Tortoise Once thought to have vanished forever, the Fernandina Giant Tortoise, a majestic creature native to the remote Galapagos Islands, had not been seen for over a century. Its disappearance baffled scientists and cast a shadow over conservation efforts, leaving many resigned to its eternal absence. Decades passed without any sign of the tortoise, pushing hope to its limits. Yet, in a bold and historic expedition, a team of intrepid explorers and scientists embarked on a daring mission to Fernandina Island. Armed with ancient records and unwavering determination, they delved into the island's dense, untouched terrain, driven by a singular purpose, to uncover the truth behind this enigmatic species. Amidst the rugged volcanic landscape and lush vegetation, their perseverance paid off. There, hidden away from the world, they discovered a living Fernandina giant tortoise. This miraculous find defied the odds, reigniting a flame of hope among conservationists globally. Today, the Fernandina giant tortoise stands as a testament to resilience and the relentless pursuit of discovery. Its reappearance not only sheds light on the intricate balance of life in the Galapagos, but also inspires ongoing efforts to preserve and protect our planet's most endangered species. The Kakapo, a giant among birds, once roamed freely through New Zealand's ancient forests, this nocturnal flightless parrot with its moss-green feathers is a unique product of evolution, 
thriving in isolation on the island. As one of the heaviest parrots in the world, males typically weigh between 2 and 4 kilograms, 4.4 to 8.8 .8 pounds, while females can be slightly heavier. For centuries, the Kakapo lived undisturbed and was revered by the Maori people as a taonga, or treasure. It embodied the essence of New Zealand's wild, ancient landscape. However, human colonization introduced predators like rats, stoats, and cats, leading to a rapid decline in the Kakapo population by the late 20th century. In a thrilling twist, the Kakapo was rediscovered in 1977, defying the belief that it had gone extinct. Conservationists, driven by dedication, searched tirelessly until Dr. Don Merton's team found unmistakable Kakapo footprints on Stewart Island. This discovery marked the beginning of an intensive and ongoing conservation effort. Kakapos have a specialized diet, primarily feeding on native plants such as fruits, seeds, leaves, and buds. One of their favorite foods is the rimu fruit, which they eagerly consume when it is in season. Their diet reflects their adaptation to New Zealand's unique ecosystem. This rediscovery sparked a global effort to save the kakapo. Conservationists implemented habitat restoration, predator control, and a detailed breeding program, carefully monitoring every aspect of the kakapo's life cycle. The breeding program is particularly important, as female kakapos only breed every two four years when the rimu fruit is abundant. They also have a low reproductive rate, typically laying only one to four eggs per clutch. Today, the kakapo is one of the world's rarest and most endangered birds. Its survival depends on ongoing conservation efforts. The kakapo's nocturnal habits and flightlessness reflect its unique evolutionary path, while its long lifespan, some individuals living up to 90 years, and slow reproduction add to the challenges of its conservation. In the protected sanctuaries where it now lives, the kakapo symbolizes the interconnectedness of all life and our responsibility to protect Earth's biodiversity. Intensive measures such as supplementary feeding during food shortages and close monitoring of health and breeding activities have been crucial to its survival. The dedication of conservationists has led to a slow but steady increase in the kakapo population. As dawn breaks over New Zealand's rugged landscapes, the kakapo's call can be heard once more, a testament to its enduring spirit and the hope it brings for future generations. The kakapo's story reminds us of the dangers of habitat loss and species decline, but also showcases the power of collective action and unwavering determination. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.